With us right now via the phone, the Chancellor of the North Dakota University System, Hamid Shravani. Dr. Shravani, thanks for joining us. I want to jump right in here. Going into this My meeting, pleasure. did you have any inkling whatsoever that you may be out of a job by the end of today? Uh, uh, Chris, no. Thank you so much, first of all, for uh, asking me to be on your show. And no, it, it's, um, uh, you know, no, I did not have that feeling. No, I so, have no problem about uh, anybody wanting to evaluate me. So speaking about evaluations, you sent out a self-evaluation earlier this week. Right. The most successful people I know are great at evaluating their strengths and also their weaknesses. So here's my question for you. Here in North Dakota, including university presidents, legislators, students, why do so many people dislike you? Well, uh, I, uh, Chris, I can't help it if you mention use the term dislike. Certainly, this, the people who dislike me for, for a variety of reasons, uh, which are personal, but, and I can't help that. But uh, if you're talking about there are people who are critical of me, and some of those criticisms could be professional, which I, I appreciate. And but there's a lot of it is about pushback for change, as you know. And I've been in your show, and you've asked me. We have major issues in our university systems, from graduation rate to retention rate, to uh, efficiency to accountability, and you know the, the tuition and fees. Uh, and et cetera, et cetera. So we are trying to, I'm doing my best to do the job that they have asked me to do, basically build a unified, solid system of higher education. And uh, I'm, I do my, I'm doing my best. So naturally that makes, uh, it causes a lot of change and change is not um, uh, very well welcomed for any organization, but particularly in North Dakota. And but so Chancellor, that's why there is that those heavy, heavy pushbacks. But Chancellor, here's my question for you then, because look, I think everything you're proposing about higher grad rates, stricter admission standards is all great stuff. It's the right thing for the students. So I look at this again and I ask you, so why are people questioning your skill set? This is from board member Carrie Riker. She says, I think what we're really talking about is not whether we like or dislike someone. Right. It's whether they have but, the right skills. You've got people that but maybe it's your personality, but, but now they're questioning your skill set. Well, uh, you know, that's her opinion. That's just a one board member, and I don't work for the one board member. I work for the entire board. And I don't know, I, since I work for the entire board, I, uh, I'm uh, very professional, and I don't want to be commenting on her. You can ask other board members and uh, ask them what do you think of her um, uh, comments. Uh, so, uh, no, I would argue very strongly that that's, that's not the matter of you know, when, when, you, when you can't argue on the substance and on a direction and just off the cuff um, making these kind of comments, that's an issue. Um, you know, uh, let, the, let the evaluation take place, you know. To, so this is what I've been struggling for the past three, four months, that this innuendo and, and discussion and who said what and so forth. The reality is that we have to make certain changes, and I came here to make these changes. And uh, this is a major organization that has not gone through a lot of changes. And so there is this reaction. There is this radical reaction towards it. And you know where it's coming from, and I know where it's coming from, and uh, we have to deal with that if you want to uh, improve the system. That, you know, I mean, to advance the system. Dr. Shravani, I want to thank you so much for your time. I look forward to having you back on the show in the very, very near future to talk about this in more detail. Also, though, all day up in Grand Forks, we had our Valley News Live reporter, Brandon Clark, with us. Brandon, thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, Chancellor Shravani has just talked about the importance of an evaluation. Well, according to the agenda today, that's going to happen, and when specifically? Yeah, that uh, is going to happen by the end of June. Now, it's interesting that he had no idea that this would come about, that, th that his job would be threatened because I talked to a former board member and he said late last night members had a majority vote ready to go to push him out. Of course, that didn't happen because they chose the third option of not making a decision right now, but it was very clear that his job is, is on the line and, and he needs to make some changes. Let me ask you this. I know you've talked to a lot of people. Look, what I, what I said to him, I think what you're proposing is the right stuff, and yet clearly there's some personality or some kind of conflicts going on here. 
What are you hearing from people as the more you talk to him? Why is he so disliked across the state? Well, I think it comes from he he just they say that he doesn't have a lot of respect for people. He doesn't have a lot of respect for the legislators. He doesn't have a lot of respect for uh, the other board members. And I think that's kind of rubbed people the wrong way. You know, he, he, he's pushing for, he wanted an across the board 2.5% tuition increase. That of course wasn't what the university presidents, presidents wanted. So they're not really seeing eye to eye. And it really kind of just goes back to miscommunication. If everybody can start communicating with each other, I think a lot of the problems could be solved is from is what I'm hearing. Brandon Clark up in Grand Forks. Brandon, great job today being there. We really appreciate the insight. Stay with us when we come back. I had a chance to visit with Governor Jack Dalrymple on Tuesday at the Chamber Legislative Wrap Up. You'll find out what he has to say about the session and if he would change anything, what would it be and why? You might be surprised what he has to say. As always, join our conversation. Go to the website 630pov.com. We'll be right back. Why just trade in? 